Do you also struggle at conversations? You don't know Do you... how to handle a conversation. Uh? Ask for information. It is natural to feel a little nervous. In such a situation, you tend to forget words or not know what to talk next. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well. Do you also struggle at conversations? Do you feel nervous and you feel a lack of ideas? You don't know how to handle a conversation? See, when you are talking to a person for the first time, it is natural to feel a little nervous. In such a situation, you tend to forget words or not know what to talk next. I used to feel the same at one point of time. But having conversations with strangers on a regular basis removed this hesitation. I have had more than 500 conversations with different people who are total strangers to me. All I knew before the meeting was the opposite person's name. And believe me, I have enjoyed almost every conversation and I never felt like ending it midway. A lot of people also tell me that they find it difficult to strike a conversation or keep it going. Are you also one of them? So I am here to share whatever little knowledge I have acquired through my experience. I will share a few tips that help me to keep the talk going. It might help you too. So watch the complete video. The first one, ask for information. Try to learn about the opposite person. Ask them where they are from, what they do, etc. You can say, can I know a little bit about you? Or since we are meeting for the first time, please introduce yourself. So it is important to pay close attention to what the person is saying. Don't ask just for the sake of it. Because from here itself, you will get points which will keep the talk going. Let me give you a few examples. If a person says that he is from a specific state or city, you can say things like, I had been there. Of course, if you really had. Or talk about the food that state is famous for. You can also ask if the person was born and brought up in the same place the climatic conditions of their state. What is the best thing of his or her city? See, so many questions you can ask after listening to the introduction itself. Depending on the answers given by the person, you can further get ideas or you can add something to their answers. So point number two, show genuine interest. It is important for you to be present in the moment. Smile and maintain eye contact. It is very important for you to listen to what that person is saying. Listen not to answer but to understand. If you do not look at the person and you keep looking here and there, the person will not be interested in answering your questions. Show some expressions when the person is talking like nodding your head occasionally. If he or she is talking about their achievements, show appreciation. You should be involved in the conversation actively. The person should feel that you are genuinely interested in talking to them and listening to them. You should not just hear but listen. There is a difference between the two. Also, try not to interrupt or cut the person when they are talking. Don't show emergency in answering. No matter however easy the answer seems, just wait and then start. So point number three, find mutual interests and similarities. You can ask the person their interests and hobbies, what they like doing. It might be a possibility that you guys share the same interest. You can further discuss on the same, like asking how long they have been practicing a specific hobby for and how it all started. Did they take any professional training for, for, for the same and from where? You can ask them uh, how the training was and how their experience was. 
if the person is a foodie and you are as well then you can get limitless ideas to discuss about food what type of food which cuisine do they like spicy food or less spicy food how often they go out to eat and where and also you can ask them if they have any recommendations so point number 4 be prepared before the conversation just be prepared just have a few questions written down because sometimes it happens that either of you or both of you are introverts and you don't know what to speak in that situation you tend to feel nervous so it is better you just think and write down a few questions before having the meeting write them down so that you don't forget them if one of you is talkative you won't find the necessity to ask questions anyway you can prepare questions related to any topic for example education system college life best memories from childhood the weather and climatic conditions their lifestyle culture and festivals best places to visit around their city etc the uh, list is endless whenever you ask a question ask their opinion what they feel about the specific topic so this brings us to point number 5 try to elaborate your answer be ready to give and do not answer in a word or a single sentence try to elaborate your answer it is this is not an interrogation that you should answer to the point only when you add extra things to your answer the opposite person also will feel that you are interested in continuing the conversation with them when a person asks what's your favorite thing to do don't just say i like reading books you need to add to it you can say i am an avid reader since my childhood books are my best friends once i start reading any book of my favorite genre i just can't put it down i love drama suspense nowadays however i am being tied up and hardly getting any time to read what about you do you like reading as well see don't keep bragging about yourself you need to know where to put a full stop or else the opposite person will get bored and feel neglected that is not a good personality trait for anyone so the last point point number 6 ask open ended questions now open ended questions are the questions that cannot be answered with just yes or no they usually begin with um why how or what these are big time savers during conversations Some examples of open-ended questions include what kind of challenges are you facing how do you deal with stress and anxiety in your life what would you do if you became the leader of our country for one day how do you manage time remember conversations are a two-way road both of you need to be equally inter- interested keep your mind open to learning and knowing it might feel challenging initially but do not give up keep focusing at it and you will master it in no time remember conversations is more about communicating and less about english that what i mean to say is focus more on communicating so that's it for today's video guys do you want to add any more points to whatever i have already told in the video you are open to do so in the comment section good luck for all the future conversations you are going to have thank you so much for watching the complete video i will see you soon with another topic in another video take care bye